Saturday morning. That's right, Saturday morning. Pastor Jung here with our Saturday morning Bible reading time. And uh, I just came up with a jingle as uh, I was driving over here. So, uh, oh, it's good to see everyone. We'll wait like a minute or two on this Saturday morning here at Faith Moore Park. Uh, hope everyone is doing well and and the kiddos are doing great and yeah here and I I dearly miss all of you um, I think this is the best we could do so uh, you know <laughs> that's where we're gonna go here uh, but why don't we wait just a little bit Today, what is the plan? First, we're going to sing a song, and then we are going to read uh, out of our story Bible here. And then, uh, oh, good morning, Tara, Jeff, Anthony, Brent. Um, then we're going to read out of our, our story Bible, and then we're going to do a small craft uh, that will, well, in credit to my brother pastor up there in Seattle, near and dear Seattle, uh, uh, we're going to do a craft for tomorrow, for Palm Sunday. Uh, so we can definitely use those tomorrow uh, for the triumphal entry. So, um, why don't we, uh, why don't we begin in, um, a little bit. I know the, uh, Facebook is a little, Facebook Live is a little frizzy, but, uh, bear with it. Hopefully it goes well. Why don't we start... On this Saturday morning Bible reading time, why don't we start with Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. Just as a warm up. Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. I should know. Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. Welcome, everyone, uh, for our Saturday morning reading time. It's Pastor Jung here. It's good to see you all out there um, at your homes, probably in your jammies still, uh, probably in, in your parents' bed or on the couch or wherever that may be. But as you know, here I'm at uh, my place, which is uh, my office, which I um, have grown accustomed to these past uh, couple weeks. 
But uh, it's good to see everyone. All right. Well, why don't we start with a word of prayer. Uh, you can repeat after me if you'd like, if you're at home and you're listening. But repeat after me. me. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for keeping me safely last night. Guide me this day and lead me in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, welcome everyone. It's Saturday morning reading time. Pastor John here, Faith Moore Park. Good to see you guys, kids. I know uh, you're probably um, excited for this, but I'm going to read something for you. This is Saturday. I don't know if you have this book. You probably saw this at Bible study sometime when you go to Sunday school. But here we begin with the story of the, let's see. Animal entry. Wow. What's that about? Do you guys know? What is that animal doing there? Huh. I wonder what about. I guess we will find out today. All right, follow along, kids. It reads, The Triumphal Entry. The crowd drew near to Jerusalem, and they came to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus sent two disciples. He said to them, Go into the village in front of you. You will find a donkey tied in a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is humble and mounted on a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus said. They brought the donkey and the colt. They put their colts on the donkey and Jesus sat on them. That's right. So there Jesus was to go in on this animal of peace, right? A humble animal this donkey was. And there Jesus would go into Jerusalem on this donkey of peace, right? Usually a lot of times when we talk about kings, kids, they would go in on these great big war horses and all these things. But no, not this king, not Jesus. He goes in humbly on this donkey. All right, continuing on. Uh Uh-oh, here we go. As we see it, what do we see right here? Uh, We see a donkey. We see Jesus. We see all the little, what what are they right there? All the little children, just like you, as you're listening to this right now. That Jesus comes for all the people, including you guys, the little children. Jesus comes on the donkey. And I guess the question is, where is he going? Right? And what are the crowds doing? Why don't we find out? All right, let's read. It says, most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road. Others cut branches from the trees and spread them out on the road. And the crowds were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. What do you see right there? What are those called, kids? What kind of uh, trees are those? Starts with a P, ends with an M. Has a vowel in the middle with an A and maybe an L right there. But it's called a palm, a palm branch. Now, why were they waving the palm branches? That's the question. <clears throat> because the palm branches were there to, to celebrate the king, right? To know that the king has come to care for them, to protect them from all things. Now, and when we talk about Jesus, you guys, what does Jesus do for us? Is he like any other king of this world? And that is the question. Is he like any other king? And if he's different, well, what kind of king he is? What kind of king is he? 
and we see those palms, and they are a sign of victory, right? Like, like the battle has been won, that this king has come to give them peace. So, as we continue with the story, Jesus entered Jerusalem. The whole city was stirred up. People said, who is this? And the crowd said, this is the prophet Jesus. He is from Nazareth of Galilee. Jesus entered the temple. He drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. But the blind and the lame came to Jesus and he healed them. The chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that Jesus did. They saw the children, yes, you children, who are listening right now, including you, crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna again, friends, means save us. So they're basically saying, save us, son of David, save us right now. The leaders became mad. They said to Jesus, do you hear what these children are saying? Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read in the Psalms, Out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies, God has prepared praise. All right, so this is the story. Now, where was Jesus going? Was this just like any other parade that you've seen in your life? Was Jesus just going to, to, to say hello to the children and to, to greet everyone um, as he was going into the city? Well, we look at, again at the palms and their kids. It reminds us of why Jesus came. To give us victory. That's what the palm shows us. That he gives us victory. That he wins the battle. And you might ask, what battle is that, Pastor? <laughs> and the, the answer is the battle over, the sin, over our sin, death, and the devil. This is our king. The one who goes straight into this city to do what? To die on the cross for our sins. That's our, that's our Lord, my friends. He goes to the cross. There he is crucified. He, he goes on the cross and he sheds his body and blood there and he dies. Right? To answer to the palms. To answer to the words of Hosanna. Save us. And that's what Jesus does. He saves us from our sin. He rescues us and saves us from our death. He forgives us of all of our sins and gives us life that is forever. Only Jesus. And that is done as he goes straight to the cross. That's how much he loves you, kids. He loves you so much. No one loves you like Jesus does. He loves you the greatest, right? As he goes to the cross to die for you, for me, for your parents, for all the world, Jesus goes to the cross, right? To die for the sins of the world, to die for you. And that is where he is going on that donkey of peace. He has come to bring peace to the world. He has come to bring victory to the world all by going straight to the cross, to die for all of our sins. These children right here, he dies for them. And likewise, children, for you, Jesus, your Savior, the one who goes to the cross and rises on the third day so that you may have life forever, that your sins are all washed away, and that you are a child of God, not by what you have done, but by what Jesus has done as he went to the cross for you. Why don't we fold our hands together and pray this prayer. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, you are my Savior who has come triumphantly to save me. I will sing to you and praise you too. Amen. Amen. All right, kids. Well, that was our story time for the day. And we have one more thing to do before we close. And, and um, it's again, it's so great to see you guys here today with me. But for tomorrow, I have a quick 
uh, a quick craft for you and parents. Please help out your children with this. Uh, tomorrow is Palm Sunday. So, um, again, this is archived, so you could always do this over and over again. Uh, and you could always replay this for the kids. But we're going to make palm branches. And as we make palm branches, tomorrow as you watch the service, I want you to take a picture of them and post them on our message line there on Facebook Live or YouTube and uh, show us your palms uh, of what you made. And um, I am um, taking this example from my brother, Pastor Pastor Macon, out of Seattle. Um, and he showed us this earlier this week. I'm like, oh, that'd be a good idea. So uh, we're going to make some palms today. Follow along here. And kids, uh, listening carefully to do this correctly. Because if you miss a step, it can actually go uh, horribly wrong. Not horribly, because you could always... Uh, you know, do it again, but okay. So all you need is a piece of paper like this, piece of paper. Uh, you can use white or you could use green construction paper, brown construction paper, whatever construction paper you have or a white, cause I don't have construction paper right now. Um, also you need a, a, a marker or a Sharpie of some type or even a, a pen, right? No, no matter, no big deal. Um, marker, pen, whatever you need. And also just uh, kids, don't use this scissor because this is very sharp. But if you have a kitty scissor, you know, that you use for school, maybe take one, take one of those out too. And we have that right there. Okay, so boom, boom, pen, uh, scissor, paper, All right? Now, uh, this is gonna come back, this is gonna come out backwards on the sheet because I don't know, um, I, I don't have a stand um, to vertically uh, place my uh, phone, but um, here goes. So first, we we fold this paper in half. All right, so we fold it in half like this. Is it too? It's too. Let me turn on the. Uh... Is that better? That might be better. All right, we fold it in half. This is the folded edge, kids, right here. The fold, see right here? The fold. This is the folded edge. Remember that. That's very important. So we start there. And then what do we do? Huh, let's see. Oh, yes, we do this. Okay, so next, and I'll, I'll do it. We use our pen to draw this picture. And I'll, I'll do it first, and then I'll show you. So I'm using my pen. And we're gonna, this is the folded side right here, and we're going to make this outline. Look at that, okay? So we have a pen or a marker, whatever you like, folded line on this side, folded edge, and we make a line, and we do one of these, all right? And again, uh, you can do as many as you want, right? As many as you want, so that's the next part. And now, I know, let me, uh, I don't know if it's backwards, but it looks like this, like that from my table, right? A folded edge right here. And kids, just draw the marker like that, all right? All right. Next up, we will cut along the, the, uh, the markers, uh, where the marker is. So I'm cutting right now real quick. And here we see what we have. So, so at the end of the day, I, I cut it right here. Kids, see that? So it's kind of like a, a P, right? Kind of looks like a P for palm. Get it? I was off the cuff. How creative am I? <laughs> but anyways, okay, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, and now what do we do? Now... We cut out triangles on this side. So I'll show you what you could do or uh, alligator mouths. And you could either mark them like this. Quick. You get the triangles out like that and mark them out real quick. Or you don't have to mark them. You can just 
cut triangles if you'd like. Uh, but for me, I'm craft. Um, I'm not craftly inclined, so I need to do all these things. And then you just cut on the marker lines again. And as I'm doing that, let's see. Um, Let's see what's going to happen. I don't know. Let's see how it turns out. Ah, mine turned out okay. Not the best. Um, but here we go. So you, you cut. You cut out the, the triangles, right? And then all you do is... If you ever made a snowflake before, you, you open it up, and there you go. You got yourself a palm. Boom. You can make one, you can make 50, you can make 100, you can make 2,000, whatever you'd like. Here it is. And if you're using white paper, uh, you can color it however you want. But if you're using colored paper, well, you just, you can still color it if you want, but you definitely uh, skipped a step and made it quicker for yourself. But this is our craft for today. And I pray that you may do this today um, on this gloomy uh, Saturday morning. Uh, make some palms and bring them to worship tomorrow as you as you listen online and um and as we sing the hosannas uh you can wave them around i know brent talked about putting them on your uh on your door you could do that as well but tomorrow is palm sunday and this is our craft for today so ask your parents to help you if you need it um if you need uh to remember how to do it uh just replay the video again and, and there we have it Okay, well, friends, uh, it was a wonderful first Saturday for you and for me as we went over the Bible, Jesus going into Jerusalem uh, to die for our sins on the donkey, making the palm branches um, this day, and there we will bring them tomorrow. Um, if you'd like, uh, take a picture of your palm branches, post them on our um, Facebook wall, um, uh, post them on the YouTube wall of your palm branches. It would be great to see what you came up with. But we're, uh, what a great day it is. So blessings, kids. Love you all. Hope you're well. We miss you. We hope that you're safe. We pray for you daily. And uh, wow, I can't wait till we get to come back together again. Because, yes, <laughs> man, it'll be great. But until then, this is what we're doing. God bless you all, children. Have a wonderful day. May God be with you. And may Jesus always be your peace, knowing that on this Saturday morning Bible reading time, well, it always ends on Jesus. Go now in God's peace. Peace be with you. Have a good day, kids. Blessings. Goodbye.